so uh, the problem with the IPCC process is the, is the task that they set themselves, which every seven years is to write basically an encyclopedia of climate change uh, up to the minute. Um, that's an enormous burden on the whole community, not just the people writing for the IPCC. It sets up kind of weird incentives to have certain publications come in before weird deadlines that really don't make any sense. Um, and, and I don't think that that is sustainable. We don't, like, the, the science doesn't change so much on a five to seven year basis that you have to redo the encyclopedia every single time. Um, I would be uh, supportive of uh, an IPCC that, that set aside this idea of being totally comprehensive and instead focused on directed questions that came from uh, the member governments. So uh, instead of scientists getting together and kind of coming up with a list of all the things that we think are important and that other people should pay attention to, I'd much rather that the IPCC was directed towards specific questions that uh, the policymakers want answered, right? So if they want to know, you know, how do we combine uh, controls on short-lived pollutants and long-lived pollutants in a coherent framework, then let's have an IPCC special report just on that. And I think that that would be very interesting. Um, if, uh, if policymakers wanted a special report, you know, what should we be planning in terms of sea level rise, then let's have a special report uh, just on that. Uh, I don't think we need to go into every single piece of detail of, the, of climate science every single time because you know things do get updated. Things get you know there are things that are that are done better o over time, um, but those are not things that are necessarily policy relevant.